One of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of Morocco and today we are in Tegazout with these little munchkins. Look at these little guys. So we basically were starting off the vlog today and we bumped into these little babies here. This little cute. Oh, he's gotten a little bit angry. This one. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. This is Morocco, with a population of over 37 million people, situated in the north of Africa. A country full of culture, incredible food, beautiful architecture, and fascinating people. Also home to the famous Sahara Desert. So one thing that we found very apparent as soon as we arrived here in the Tagazut area is that it's definitely a place for the surfers. There's literally surf cafes and restaurants all around the place, specifically <laughs> mentioning surfers. So all right guys, we can hear the sound of the ocean here. It looks like we have made it to the location that we want. It's a shame that it's a very, very cloudy and misty day today because you can't actually see the ocean itself, but it's just over there. But as you see, very, very misty day. Wow, love this. Walking through kind of these archways here and they've got all these mosaic kind of designs. Guys, you can see why this area is actually a surfer's town. It's because the waves that you've got here are just really, really perfect for surfers that love to ride those waves. Personally, me, I've never surfed in my life. But my hair today says otherwise. I've got a bad hair day. As you can see, super, super messy. But that's what you get with a traveler's lifestyle. Isn't that right? Yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get the luxuries of the Western world where you can have a shower wherever you want or, you know, take care of yourself. So you're going to have to look at us looking rough for a little while. But it doesn't matter because you get to visit beautiful places like these. As, as I'm walking through the beach, I have a strong, strong smell of fish and different types of meat. It looks like we've got our brothers here cutting up some fresh fish here right on the sea, which I'm guessing that they've literally just caught right now. I'm guessing this is just fresh from the sea being caught now. Wow. Salam, how are you? You okay? Good? Fresh? It's fresh? Just today caught? Wow. Just caught today. In the morning. Wow. What, what fish is this? This is Dorad. Dorad. This is his name, Capilla. I don't know what capers, is. like capers, yeah. yeah, okay. I don't know what is his name in English. Wow. This is mackerel. Ah, that's mackerel. Yeah. The this best. Is small tuna. Oh, wow. Check this out, guys. Small tuna. Is this like when a... You, when you fix it. Uh, this is ah, fresh. okay. Just smells super fresh, guys. I might have to come back here to get some fish from our brothers here next time. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank brother. you. Nice to meet you, yeah? Nice to meet you. Bye, bye. Nice you too, man. Bye. So, yeah, guys, if you want to come here, I'm guessing they'll probably even barbecue it for you because I believe I saw they had a barbecue around here. So, if you wanted to also get them to cook it up for you, I'm sure they would do it. Mmm, need to have some fresh fish out there. As I told you, this is the spot for surfing. So, if you guys need to come and get a board around here that you got that covered, I'm sure you can rent it out or even buy one for yourself. Oh, wow. We found another Instagram spot for a picture, guys. Guys, literally everywhere that you stop here in the town of Tagazut, it has just, I've been saying it constantly, but look at this. This is literally someone's house, but they've just been painted stunning. And I think these guys are the guys that live here. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello. What do we have here? The chef? Hello, Chef. Hello, my friend. How are you, my friend? Are you fine? Yeah, good. You okay? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Uh, Hassan. Hassan. And you? Yad. 
Yeah. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Nice right. to meet you. This is your restaurant. Yeah. What do you? What food do you have? Yeah, I have a specialty Moroccan. Tajine? Yeah, yeah, the tajine, the couscous, what's your, harira, Moroccan. What's your favorite food as a Moroccan? Tajine? Yeah, yeah. Only tajine? Yeah, tajine, the couscous. Couscous. Yeah, harira, the soup Moroccan. Nice, man, nice. Yeah, I yeah. welcome. Thank you so much, my friend. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, See you my friend. Take care, bye-bye. I love it. The people here are so friendly. I was just literally walking by and they were like, pop in here and uh, come and say hi to our chef. I'm actually always curious. I like to ask the locals, what is their favorite food? Because sometimes they have too much of their own food and they say something else. However, our chef there said, nope, he still prefers his tagine. I don't blame him. Tagines are very, very nice. How did you learn English? I picked up English from fishing ships with English people. Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I should laugh about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm from here, exactly. Yeah. From Tesco, Tesco. Born in the mountain and I've been here since 1972. Nice. You want to have a drink or something? Maybe later. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you so came down, have some nice pictures. Yeah, 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 we took many. Yeah. Thank you so much. What was your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Nice to meet you, brother. Is your name? Yeah, nice to meet you. My name Dad. Yeah. In in a, in, a, in, a, in England, if you don't know anybody, just call him Joe. Joe, yeah, exactly. Hey, exactly. Joe, take a walk in the wild side. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has got the jokes. <laughs> See you, my friend. Take care. Bye bye. 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 You too. bye. One thing that I have to say that's worth mentioning here in Morocco is that a lot of different places have a different feel when you're walking around, especially with a camera. But one thing I have to say about Tagzud is that everyone has just been so welcoming when they see a camera and just so willing to kind of be on the camera. But whereas in some places here in Morocco, they've just been like, especially Marrakesh, they were just saying, no, no, no videography at all. All right, guys, we've met some Hello. local Hello. brothers Hello. Morocco. Thank you, brother. What's your name? Samad. 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 Uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Abdul Moed. Abdul Yeah, that's me, bro. That's me. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Welcome nice to, to Morocco. Meet you, bro. Thank you, nice, brother. Bro. See you guys. <laughs> Meeting more and more friendly locals here. Love it. This is uh, one thing that you love about traveling is you get to really dive in. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Alright guys, I think we're going to stop off at this restaurant called World of Waves and grab a coffee and then just enjoy that misty sea today and um, get the energy levels back up with some nice bit of caffeine. Let's see what they got here. Okay, my friends, so let me just show you a little bit about the menu of this place. So the price for things, just to give you an idea. So I've, I've ordered a spicy chai latte, which is 25 dirhams, and that is two euros 50. And Dace ordered a, basically like a latte, coffee with milk, they call it here. Um, and that's come to 15 dirhams, which is one euro 50. So again, prices, um, again, very European type of prices, but that's probably because it's a very, very touristic area. You've got a lot of surfers coming here from all around the world coming from Western countries, so they're kind of used to paying those type of prices. How's the coffee? Delicious? Mm, it's so nice. You know I love my coffee, so yeah. I'm really Coffee enjoying and, and the waves to enjoy the afternoon. Yes, coffee by the sound of waves is my favorite thing. All right, guys, let me give you my uh, taste verdict on this spicy chai latte. Last time I've had something like this was actually over in uh, Pakistan, so let's see how Morocco goes. Ooh. <coughs> wow. It's so it's like, uh, Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like super powdery and like spices on top. Look at that. It's officially come out. Thank you, my friend. See you. Just in time for our carry on walk, shall I say, through this beautiful town of Tagzu, should I say beach town or surfers town. As you walk through this beautiful town, you've got those incredible, kind of almost like Greek style doors with blue and white colors, but obviously not because it has its own Moroccan twist on it. The reason I say Greek is because of the colors. It reminds me of that Santorini vibe. So, so beautiful. Why each area in Morocco is colored in specific ways? And I was actually asking our tour guide a few episodes ago why this is the case. And it's actually because it helps identify each area that you go to. For example, Marrakesh is actually colored red. Um, the blue city is obviously blue. And there's some other places that are a bit more neutral. All right, guys, we are back over at the car now and we are gonna actually head over to see a good friend um, over at his, let's say, luxury type of 
resort where he's actually a top chef in a hotel called Fairmont Hotel and that's where we're going to show you a little bit of the luxury side of this area so let's go so guys we've arrived at my friend's hotel here which is Fairmont and this the Fairmont Dubai Tagazu Dubai. Dubai okay let's go let's do this taking your place Okay. The hotel? Yes, indeed. Okay. Here we go. Thank, Thank you so you much, man. sir. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. All right, guys, we have made it over to our friend's restaurant, which is called Beef and Reef. And wow. Place looks really, really Dubai esque. Fancy, schmancy. Yeah, proper fancy. I think it's going to be nice because it's been a while since we've had a uh, nice meal like this, so we're looking forward to it. All right, guys, so I'll just give you a little bit of a tour around this area. Well, a very short one from the restaurant. If you're here with the families or if you're here on a kind of you want like a proper resort type of holiday, I guess something like this is going to be great for you because you've got so many pools here, you've got a family area as well. Just just over there as well as like just restaurants all over the place so if you're on that type of holiday where you don't really want to leave the place you just want to stay in one place the resorts will probably be a good idea for yourself however if you're traveling like uh, myself and Dace you probably want something that's closer to the town and not so upper class well depends on your taste <laughs> all right guys we are officially here with the main man the executive chef himself our good friend Georgie and uh, he was actually a good friend of ours over in Dubai, right? And now he's over in Morocco in this absolutely beautiful restaurant called Beef and Reef. And he is actually recommending us some fine food that he's curated, right? Yes. So we're going for some octopus. Is it sea bass? Atlantic sea bass, octopus, a little tomato carpaccio with the burrata. Wow. Just, I just love hearing those words coming from the main man himself. So anyway, guys, we're going to eat some of his beautiful food and dig in and give you guys a little bit of an idea of what the finer things here in Morocco taste like and look like. All right, guys, so we're just having our starter now and it's like some gnocchi with a mushroom base. Is that right? Yeah, mushroom ragu. It's mushroom, definitely European price. Mushroom ragu. I mean, what I was paying in guys, Italy it is what I'm paying so here. good. Look at that. Cooked uh, to I'm perfection. I'm thinking how do the local people it because I don't think they make mm. enough. Amazing. We've also got some gazpacho here with some tomato, mozzarella, so for and beautiful you are, uh, garnish on top of it. Food is so so fresh and divine. Incredible. Okay, guys. So the mains have officially arrived, and this is actually one of my favorite dishes of Georgie's, and it's octopus. So I actually tried it over in one of his other restaurants in the UAE, which is in Fajeras, and it tasted absolutely incredible. And I don't know, George, you can tell us a little bit it's about a new one. version of my octopus from Fujera. Upgrade? Upgrade one, yeah. Upgrade ones. And actually, you have to taste it and let me know which one is better. Oh, <laughs> risky, risky. <laughs> well, let's, let's dig in, guys. And, and have, have a look here? at that. I've got the trio of fish with a saffron uh, risotto, which looks wow. absolutely amazing. Wow. We're not going to eat for one week after this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So guys, we are now officially on the dessert and honestly, we are so, so full, but we, there's always, as they say, room for dessert. And we've got some fancy style profiteroles roll here, with the melted chocolate just on top. Like, it looks so, so good. Cannot wait to dig in. And Georgie, what do we have here? Here we have a patty breast and creme made with amlu, the, the Moroccan Nutella, which I told you before. Okay, yeah. Wow, it's so a lot. And we have the cheesecake, caramel cheesecake. What? Oh my God. George is like... And that's my mom recipe, huh, by the way. What? It's a honey cake. It's a Russian. A yeah. That's... Okay, guys, we're just going to dig in now and get really fat. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, guys, I think I've just tried probably one of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. And that's a big statement because <laughs> I love desserts. Yeah. So this is called Amluk. And look at that thing. It just tastes so good. So you've got this really famous sauce here. And this is the famous Amluk itself. Yeah. And it's basically like a... It's a yeah, almond paste mixed with the argan oil and some honey. Yeah. Wow. And then with all that together, you just mix it in. Yum. 
This is his heaven in last mm. week. Amazing. Guys, as you can see, I've probably got chocolate around my mouth. But that is because I've had profiteroles, rolls, I've had these desserts, and my plate is really messy. A great meal. Thank you to our incredible friend here, Georgie, for preparing and creating an absolute uh, gem of a menu. An absolute storm. Absolute storm, as they call it. Wow, guys, and just want to say a huge, huge thank you to our amazing friend here, Georgie, for looking after us today and showing us his way here in Agadir. And he's made our trip here even more sweet, and uh, we'll never forget our trip. Yeah, come, back. come back, come back, come back, come back. And guys, we will. And guys, if you're watching this video and you're ever traveling to Morocco and you come to Agadir, make sure you come and check out George's establishments here at Fairmont Hotel because you will not be disappointed. And make sure you come and say hi to our good friend Georgie. Special, special promo code, I know the chef. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And um, he's also given us some gifts to take away with us, which we've got some uh, argan oil here, which he recommends to use with salads. And we've got some of that insanely tasty sauce called amlu, which I'm going to probably finish tonight. And we have some orange and honey. Is that yeah. right? Orange and honey. Wow, guys. If you're uh, Moroccan as well and you're watching this video, please let me know if you use these products in your home and your household and what you cook them with. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank bye. you so much for bye. everything. Take Thank care. Thank you, my bye friend. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. So guys, we're going to end the video here by Georgie showing around his hotel because apparently there's some really cool places and things that we should see here. So I'll also show you guys so you can have a good look for yourself as well if you wanted to uh, come and stay here for yourself. Uh -huh. Basically, if you use this one, you can reach all of the hotels like Rio, yeah, Marriott, all of them. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we're now checking out their private beach and wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful here. It's such a big uh, coast, like yep. in terms of the width of the wow, beach. Look at this beach. Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my God. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. This has definitely given me a total different perspective here of Morocco because what I actually thought of Morocco mainly was kind of the Riyadh, the hustle and bustle of Marrakesh. However, this is something that I did not expect is the beauty and beautiful coastlines like this in Agadir. Wow, I am blown away. Like this is paradise. If you're into a surfing as well, you've got the crazy waves, just absolutely perfect. Alright guys, and I think this is where we're going to end the vlog here in the beautiful area of Tazgut. It was so, so beautiful. Met some incredibly friendly people here in Tazgut as well as the whole of Morocco so far. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Ciao, cacao.